We often see the moon and are familiar with how the moon looks from the Earth. However, have you ever wondered why we only see one side of the moon from the Earth? The moon takes about 27.3 days to orbit the Earth to complete a revolution. The primary reason we only see one side of the moon is a phenomenon known as tidal locking or synchronous rotation. This means that the moon's orbital period around the Earth is precisely matched with its rotational period on its axis. In other words, the moon takes the same amount of time to complete one revolution around the Earth as it does to rotate once on its axis. But many people find it very hard to understand this concept. So this animation will help you to understand how it actually works. In this animation, you can see both the scenarios, the current scenario of tidal locking and the scenario when the there would have been no tidal locking of the moon. Here you can see that the moon takes same amount of time to rotate on its own axis as it takes to orbit the Earth. It takes around 27.3 Earth days for the moon to make one orbit around the Earth. So one day on moon equals around 27.3 Earth days. Now think about the second scenario, if the moon had not been tidally locked. We would have been able to see the other side of the moon every 27 days here on the Earth. This synchronization is a result of the gravitational forces between the Earth and the moon, which have been shaping their interactions since the moon's formation billions of years ago. As the moon orbits around the Earth, the Earth's gravitational pull creates tidal bulges on the moon's surface. These bulges exert a torque, a rotational force, on the moon, gradually slowing down its rotation over time. Initially, the moon's rotation was faster than its orbital period around the Earth. However, due to the tidal forces, the moon's rotation gradually slowed until it became synchronized with its orbital period. This process is known as tidal locking, and it has resulted in the moon always presenting the same face, or near side, towards the Earth. The far side of the moon is often referred to as the dark side, but this term is misleading. The far side receives just as much sunlight as the near side. It is simply a matter of perspective from Earth. However, the far side lacks the familiar features we associate with the near side, such as the prominent Maria, dark basaltic plains, and the distinct craters like Tycho and Copernicus. The far side also lacks the prominent magnetic field found on the near side, a consequence of the moon's unique formation and evolution. This absence of a magnetic field has allowed scientists to study the moon's interaction with the solar wind and cosmic radiation, providing valuable insights into the space environment and its effects on planetary bodies. Hope you have now a clear idea why do we see only one side of the moon. Still have question? Write down in the comment box.